In this example, we want to find the Maclaurin polynomial, uh, six degree polynomial for cosine x. Okay, so a Maclaurin polynomial is basically a uh, it's a uh, Taylor polynomial expanded about x equals zero. Okay, all right. So, right. So this is so for Maclaurin, we're going to expand about zero so that means for okay for polynomial okay we're going to have okay for a polynomial it's going to be okay so we have right here we have the Taylor polynomial so when we let if we let um, uh, C be zero we're going to get f zero plus f prime of zero okay times x plus f double prime of zero divided by two factorial times x squared and so on. Okay, so that is the Maclaurin polynomial. So we want, in this case, we want to find the Maclaurin polynomial, six degree polynomial for cosine x, okay? So let's take, uh, let's start with the uh, function and take successive derivatives of that. Okay, so we have cosine x. Okay, so we're gonna have, we're gonna have to, since we're looking for a six degree, we're gonna have to go out to the six derivative. Okay, so this will be minus sine x, second, okay, second derivative will be minus cosine x, Third derivative will be sine x. Fourth derivative okay, we're going to have cosine x. And then fifth derivative minus sine x. And then sixth derivative. So that's going to be minus cosine x. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to evaluate each, all these. Okay. Remember the requirement is that the function and the the cosine x in this case has to be equal to um, at our expansion point in this case zero has to be so f of zero has to be equal to p of zero. Okay. And then and then the following. Uh, we want to have the same requirements for the successive derivatives, okay? All right, so for the first one, okay, we're going to evaluate these at zero, okay? Okay, so, so f of zero, okay, that's just going to be one. f prime of zero is going to be zero. f double prime of zero it's going to be negative 1 f the third degree derivative is going to be 0 okay for the fourth derivative it's at 0 it's going to be 1 for the fifth derivative at 0 it's going to be 0 and then for the sixth derivative six derivative at zero it's going to be minus one okay so if you notice okay um we're getting we're getting alternate values of one negative one one negative one okay all right so we get one here negative one one and then negative one so that's why because we're looking for the six derivative so we need we need to take out this far okay so the ones that I indicated, those are the ones that are going to contribute. Every the other ones are going to just give us zero. Okay, so we're not we're not interested in those. Okay. Okay, so now we plug everything in right into into this formula. Okay, that's for the Maclaurin polynomial. So we're going to have okay. 
So this is for six degree polynomial. So the first one is just one, okay? The next one, okay? So f prime of zero is zero. So we're not gonna have a term, for, we're not gonna have a uh, an x variable. The next one will be minus, okay, for, so f double prime, we're gonna have one over, so minus one over two factorial x squared. And then for the third degree, third degree was zero. Okay, so we're not gonna have a term for that. And the next one's gonna be for the fourth degree. So for the fourth degree, it's gonna be plus one over four factorial x to the fourth. And then for the fifth degree, there's no term there. And then for the last one, for the sixth degree, we're gonna have minus, okay, not positive, minus one over six factorial times x to the sixth. Okay. All right. So this is our um, this is the approximating polynomial for cosine for cosine x expanded around zero. Okay. So let's say we want to evaluate. Okay. Let's say we want to find. Okay. Let's say we want to approximate. cosine 0 0.1 okay so we can do that by evaluating this six degree polynomial at point 0.1 so it should give us a pretty good approximation because point 0.1 is close to the um, expansion point which was zero in our case okay so okay so cosine 0 0.1 is going to be approximately 1 minus, so that's going to be 2 factorial, so it's 2, 0 0.1 squared plus 1 over 4 factorial times 0 0.1 to the 4th minus 1 over 6 factorial times 0 0.1 to the 6th. Okay. All right, so plugging that in, Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in to see what we get here. One squared, one over four factorial. Times point one to the six. So we get, okay, so cosine point 0.1, okay, it's approximately uh, 0 0.995004 okay? So if we calculate, if we say cosine, if we get the, if we calculate cosine point 0.1, then it's, we're going to get the same value here, okay? for this many decimal places. Okay, so it's pretty good, I mean, approximation, okay, for this many values that we got here. Okay, all right, so um, so that's that's how this approximate, that's how the Taylor approximation works. In this case, we're using a McLaren polynomial because we're expanding around uh, C equals zero, okay?